Hello everyone, in the previous lesson I showed you that to determine the gradient, which is something that tells you how steep a line is, you use the following formula. And so just to practice that quickly, if we had these coordinates over here, you would have to choose which is point number two and which is point number one. So for example, we could choose this as point two and the bottom one as point number one. You would then just fill in the formula. So we'd start, at, oh, and then we also said that the y values are there and the x values are there. So the y value of point number two is four. Then we say minus. Then the y value of point number one is minus three. The x value of point number two is three. And then the x value of point number one is minus one. You could then go type this in on the calculator and you would get seven over four. However, they not they will not always give you all of those coordinates and so in this lesson I'm going to show you different ways to determine the gradient. If you ever get a question like this where they give you a triangle like that on the line, then all you have to remember is height over length or you could even remember y over x. So, the y value or the height is the 4 and then the length or the x value is 2. And so the gradient there is 2. Please keep in mind that if the line was going like this, then your answer would have to be negative because all lines going downwards like that are negative and lines going upwards like that are positive. So when you, when you use this formula, it will automatically determine if it's negative or positive. But when you use this method, you need to know if it's positive or negative. So let's practice that a bit. So with this one over here, we can see that the height part is three and the length part is two. However, this is a negative gradient, but this method won't tell you that. So all that you do is you add a negative in the front. Another method is for them to use the 45 degree angle. If they give you a 45 degree angle, then the gradient will always equal one. Please keep in mind that you will also need to remember whether it's positive or negative. So for example, if your line was going downwards, but they told you that the angle over here was 45, then it is one, but because it's going downwards, you would say negative one. So it's only this method where you say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That method is really, really nice because it determines whether it's positive or negative for you. Whereas with the 45 degree or with the triangle method, you know the one I showed you just now where you've got a triangle, that you need to know whether it's positive or negative. So let's spend the rest of this lesson doing various practice questions and I'm going to test you on all the different types. So here with this first one, they've given us the coordinates, so you just use the formula. You need to choose point two and point one. It's totally your choice. So let's say this is point number two, and this is point number one. Then we just fill in the formula directly, so it tells us that you take the y value. Oh, remember this is x and this is y. It's alphabetical, x and then y. So the y value of point number two would be two. Then you say minus, then the y value of point number one is minus two. So you put a minus like that. Then the x value of point number two is three. And then the x value of point number, point number one is minus two. You can then type that in on the calculator and you'll end up with four over five. And that is the gradient. Here we've got the triangle method. So that's height over length or y over x. So it's three over Two. And then just remember, is it positive or negative? Well, if it goes up like this, then it's positive. If it was going downwards, then you would have to add a little negative. Then sometimes you get ones like this. Now, this one is actually method number one, because when we say three over here, we know that because this dot is on the x axis, its y value is zero. Okay. When with this one, because it's on the y-axis, its x value is zero. So these coordinates are actually zero and minus four. Okay, so just make sure that that makes sense, why I've added those zeros over there and in the correct place. So now we have the coordinates, so we could use the formula. So I'm gonna call this point down here, point number two, and I'm gonna call this one point number one. And that's totally a random choice, it doesn't matter. So now we take the y value of point number two, which is minus four, 
that we say minus the y value of point number one is zero. Then the x value of point number two is zero minus and then the x value of point number one is three. And so if you had to go fill that in on the calculator, you would end up with four over three. Okay, and here with the last one, we've got a 45 degree angle, so that should give you a gradient of one, but this line is going downwards. We remember, we must always look from left to right, so it's going downwards, okay? If it was, so this over here would be a positive gradient, then if it does that, it's a negative gradient. So it will just be negative one. And there we go, guys. So those are the different ways that they could ask you to determine the gradient.